I'm Noah from American Trucks, and we're gonna check out this Barricade HD stubby front bumper with a 20-inch dual-row LED light bar for the 21 and newer F-150, excluding the Raptor. Now, this bumper is an add-on to the factory bumper, so it's really going to appeal to the F-150 owner who's looking for a bit more rigidity out of the front end of their truck without committing to something like a full aftermarket front bumper that takes up tons of space and it strays farther from the stock look. Like I said before, this is an add-on to the factory bumper, not a replacement, but it does have some pretty awesome angular styling that you often see on aftermarket full bumpers, which is going to help with approach angle. Now this bumper doesn't require any welding for the installation either. It just bolts on, which is also a big bonus in my opinion. Now this add-on really doesn't only serve a purpose on the trail, However, this will really aid you just on the daily drive as well. Now here in Pennsylvania, we have a huge problem with deer and a stubby front bumper is a surefire way to protect the front end of your truck without committing to a full aftermarket bumper. Now I also think it's worth mentioning that this stubby bumper doesn't look necessarily out of place on a completely stock truck. Now since it's so low profile, it looks right at home on an unmodified truck and I tend to think that really big aftermarket bumpers kind of look ridiculous on a stock truck, especially if you're on stock wheels and tires with a stock ride height. Then the big draw to this guy in particular is the fact that it features a 20 inch dual row LED light bar. Now that is weather sealed, so it's safe for wet environments with a waterproof rating of IP67. Not to mention that it also has an impact resistant polycarbonate lens. So as far as construction goes, of course this guy is gonna be made of steel. It is entirely made out of heavy duty steel plate, so it will withstand quite a beating. Now this steel is cold formed, so the temper of the metal isn't lost in heating the metal to bend it. So it's gonna be super hard. Now everything is coated in a two stage epoxy finish with that epoxy pre-coat base and then a textured black powder coat on top of that. Now overall, this thing is gonna serve its purpose. It's going to be extremely durable and protect your truck. Coming in around $550, you get the perks of not buying a full bumper. The cheaper price tag really is not that bad when you consider what it could cost you if your truck would get damaged and the fact that it comes with the light bar. Now, if you're planning on using your truck for truck stuff, it really makes sense to grab something like this stubby bumper from Barricade. Now installing this bumper is a nice and simple job. We're looking at an install time of about two hours and a difficulty that's only one out of three wrenches. You really should be just fine getting this on yourself, but hey, installs can be intimidating and there's no shame in leaving it to the professionals if you feel like you need to take it to a shop. Now, speaking of install, let's take a closer look at the step-by-step -step process of getting this guy on our F-150. Tools required for this install include a couple different sized impact guns, an electric and a hand ratchet, a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters, a clip remover tool, a 13 millimeter wrench, a 13 and 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench, a couple different size extensions and swivel adapters, a T30 Torx bit, a four millimeter Allen bit, and 10, 11, 13, 15, 18, and 21 millimeter sockets. What's up guys? Today we're installing a front bumper on our F-150, so let's get started. So our first step to removing our factory bumper is to disconnect our wiring harness that houses our fog lights as well as all of our parking sensors. So now if we come up to our passenger side frame rail, we have our harness. We have a gray tab that we're gonna have to pull back to unlock this. And once you have that disconnected, we can just pull our two connectors apart. Next, we can remove our three bolts on either side that hold our bumper to our frame. Now, on the one on the inside, we're gonna leave this on a couple threads just so that our bumper doesn't fall off before we wanna take it off. So I've got a 21 millimeter socket with a swivel adapter and a little bit of an extension to get these out.
And then once again, we're gonna leave this one on a few threads just to hold everything in place. And then we can repeat that same process on the other side. So now we're ready to remove our factory bumper. So I've got a buddy to help me lift it off. We're gonna loosen that last nut and then we can fully remove our bumper. So now that we have the bumper removed from the truck, our first thing is we need to pop off these three plastic covers. So now we can take a clip remover tool or a pry tool to pop out the clips in our side piece. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, we can remove the module on our driver's side. We have three bolts here that we can take a T30 Torx bit to remove. And then we can slide our module out of the way and press the tab to remove our harness. Next, we can remove the two parking sensors in the center of our bumper. So we're gonna push down on this white tab and pull off our connector. And then we can pry back on these two tabs that lock in our parking sensor and remove it and then we'll do the same thing for the other one. Our next step is to add our extension harnesses for our two center parking sensors. So we're just gonna slide this into the end that we disconnected, and then we can just leave them hang for the time being until we get our new bumper installed. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So now something that's important to note is for the boot where our tow hook slides through, it is recommended that you make a rectangular cut here. That way our bracket can go through it. Uh, we're not gonna be doing this. We're just not gonna install our boot when we reinstall our bumper. But if you would like to have sort of a cleaner look, you can make that cut so the bracket can slide through. Next, we can install our brackets onto our bumper. So we have a bolt and a plate that's going to come through the back side here and then we can slide our bracket into place and we'll drop a flat washer, a lock washer and our nut on top and then we can just line it up and tighten it down with a 19 millimeter socket and then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So our next step is to remove the two 15 millimeter bolts that hold in our tow hook. We're gonna be adding our bracket into there. So we'll take our tow hook off, put our bracket up, put our tow hook on the bottom and reinstall our two bolts. Now we can grab a 15 millimeter socket to remove our two bolts. And then we'll grab our plate and our hook. We'll line that up with our bolt, with our nut plate. And now we'll grab our same 15 millimeter socket to tighten up our bolts. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. Now the last thing we need to do before we mount our stock bumper back up to the truck is to take our parking sensor extension harnesses and feed them through the holes from the parking sensors that we removed. Now with that done, we're ready to get our bumper mounted up onto the truck. Now we can reinstall our factory bumper onto our frame horns. So 
So now we can tighten down our three nuts that hold our bumper into place. So we'll get that 21 millimeter socket with an extension and a swivel to tighten these down. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. Next, we can come back to our passenger frame rail and reconnect our wire harness. And then we'll fold down that gray tab to lock it into place. Now, once we have our factory bumper mounted back up onto the truck, we can begin to assemble our new bumper. Now we have our two parking sensors that we removed from our factory bumper that we need to install into this one. We're gonna have to pop off this little seal around the end and we'll be replacing it with one of our foam washers. And then on the back side, we'll have a foam spacer as well as our cap to hold everything in place. So now we can take our parking sensor and pop off our seal. And then we'll install our foam washer. And then we can press this down into place. And then we'll take our spacer and add it to our cap. And press that down into place and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So now we can install our weather strip. It's gonna go around the outer edge here just to protect our paint, make sure we don't scratch our bumper. Now on the other end, we can grab a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters to cut off our excess. So now before we mount our bumper to the truck, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our parking sensor extensions. So now we can plug in our connector and then we're gonna push in this gray tab just to lock that into place. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So now we're ready to mount our bumper to the truck now the way we're gonna do that is we have a bolt that's welded to a plate. This is gonna go from the outside in, slide it through that hole. And then on the other side, we're gonna put a flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. This might be a good time to grab yourself a buddy because there's nothing really to hook this bumper onto to hold it in place while you do one side without having someone hold the other side. So now once you've got your buddy with you, you can lift up the bumper and get your bolts through. So now we can take an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench on our nut to tighten that down. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. Now we can come from the bottom into that bracket that we installed on our tow hook. We have a bolt with a locking washer and a flat washer that we can thread into place. And then we'll take a 13 millimeter socket to tighten these down. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. And then we can come back with our mesh grill and our button head bolts with the captured lock washer and washer and thread those in to our rib nuts. And then we can grab a four millimeter Allen bit to tighten down our bolts. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. So now we're ready to install our light bar. 
So I've got the wiring harness kind of draped over the engine bay while we install our two brackets. Now we have a bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer that we'll put from the bottom going up. And then on the top, we have another flat washer and our nut. Now we're gonna install our bend towards the inside of our bumper. Drop our flat washer on and then our nut. And then we'll grab a 13 millimeter socket on our bolt side and a 13 millimeter wrench on our nut side to tighten this down. And then once we have our first bracket installed, we can do that same thing on the other side. So next we can mount our light bar. So we'll slide this in place and then we have a bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer that's gonna be going through on each side. And then once we have our light bar in place, we can take a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten this down. So now we can run our wire harness down to our light bar. So I've got it laid out across our engine bay. I've got our switch on this side that's gonna go through this grommet right down here. And then on the other side, I have our battery hookups as well as our light bar harness that we're gonna drop down to connect to our light bar. So now we can grab our switch and feed it through our grommet and into the cabin. So now we can grab a couple zip ties just to get our harness up and out of the way. We've got some clips on the cowl here that we can use to secure this. And then we can grab a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters to chop off the excess of our zip tie. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, we can connect our two connectors to our battery terminals. So we'll grab an 11 millimeter socket to take the nut off of our positive. And we can put our positive wire down and get our nut back on and then tighten that up with that same 11 millimeter socket. And then we'll switch to a 10 millimeter socket for a negative. So now we can drop our harness connector down to the ground. There's a nice spot right down here next to the battery tray. Now to make our wiring job a little bit easier, we can remove the grill right here that we installed earlier. It's just those four, uh, four millimeter Allen head bolts. We can grab a four mil Allen socket to get these off. So now that we have our grill removed, we can take our harness that we dropped from the engine bay and slide it up through this gap. And then we'll take our harness for our light bar. We have a little bit of a gap that we can squeeze it through right here. And then we can connect our two harnesses. Next, we'll bunch up all of our excess harness and then we can grab a zip tie. And then once we have our zip tie installed, we can take a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters to cut off our excess. And then we'll just tuck our harness into place and we can reinstall our grill. And then we'll grab that four millimeter Allen bit to tighten all of these down. So 
So now we can come into the interior and grab our switch, peel the backing on our double-sided tape, and then you can stick this down wherever you'd like. I'm just gonna put it right about here. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Barricade HD stubby front bumper with 20 inch LED light bar for your 2021 and newer F-150, excluding Raptor. Thank you for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.